Welcome back to our Gravity Golf Channel. I'm your host, Daniel Lee, and today I'm going to share with you some of the benefits of working on uphill slopes, having gravity working against you, and how that can teach you how to become very soft in the upper body and create wonderful dynamic balance in the direction that you want to go. Be right back. All right, let's jump right into it. Now, anytime that we get on a contour that's moving against us, gravity is naturally wanting to push us down the hill. We wanna make sure that our objective is to move in this direction. We wanna know that we can easily move up the hill and feel that gravity is not working against us. If we have too much leverage, we're gonna notice that our weight wants to fall back very easily in these kind of circumstances. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make swings and we're actually gonna walk through these. If you can walk through this and you can feel this at a very easy level, you can tell so much by the way that you walk on the way through your shot. If you come through and you start falling off in different directions, you know that there's tension in your swing. Now, some of the other insights are certainly to find the right ball position. Now, when you do this, it's very different. Most people, they look at these contours and they may have heard, let's get our shoulders and try and get everything lined up to the contour of the ground. Now, what's happening is it's forcing you into a position where you're having to try and swing up while hanging back in order to get that, that upward launch angle to catch it on the upswing. I'm gonna show you something very different here. If you think about your swing as a circle, as an arc, compare that to a tire. If you had a tire that was moving up this hill, which part of the tire would be touching the ground? It's gonna be the front part. The steeper the hill, the farther forwards on the circle that it's gonna be. So in this case, we wanna make room so that our circle can clear the contour of the ground and that we actually catch this farther forwards on the circle. That allows us to be able to continue moving through level rather than trying to swing up at it and throwing ourselves off balance. Now that was a pretty good swing. I got through it, everything was flush. I moved right on up the hill. I felt a little bit of reticence in my walk. So that actually tells me I could have put a little more heave on it at the beginning, gotten it a little bit higher and got my arms just a little bit softer so that when I get to the top, I can feel my body starting to fall towards a target, the shoulders naturally drop, and I have still plenty of room and time to clear through my shot. I'm gonna do that one more time. Now, here's a rare example where my body was hanging back and that ball went to the left. Now, for <laughs> examples of what not to do, it's a perfect one because you can see how my weight was resisted going through it. This is a challenging circumstance. So, anytime that we get up here, we want to make sure that we can easily get going in this direction. One thing that I overlooked there was being able to have my feet a little bit closer together because the more that this back foot is down the hill, the more that I have to climb in order to get there. So it, the wider my feet are, the more difficult it's going to be. So this time I'm going to narrow up my stance and let's see if I can walk through it a little bit easier. So much fun to watch those fly like that. Get yourself to where you can move through your shots. Your mind is on one thing, and that's moving in the direction that you want to go. Get a clear vision in your head of exactly where that place is, and everything will start to backdoor its way in. When you're on these kind of slopes, that's all you have to really worry about. Everything else 
feeds in that direction. So anything that you're learning, anything about you know, narrowing up your stance or opening yourself up so that it's easier to turn through, putting your feet a little closer together, a little more vertical, all those things, I know they can become analytical thoughts, but you want to get yourself away from anything that's working against you. So once you start to feel how these things just give you more freedom and more space, they start to disappear out of that, that inner dialogue. All that vernacular in your head can start to disappear, and all you get to think about is what you're feeling, where you want to go. The smoother that you can walk through your shots, the more that you feel like you're drawn in this direction, you're going to have an easier relationship with the way that your shoulders are dropping into your shot, the way that your body is beginning to fall towards your target, and it creates that natural momentum that we're all looking for. It creates that shot that feels like nothing and everything can just carry right on through. That was crunched. Those kind of shots are so beneficial. They help you so much in being able to overcome all of the obstacles, all the things that you tend to fight with in your body, figuring out where the geometry is supposed to be, your timing, your tempo, all that stuff that gets stuck in your head. Just get yourself in a situation that lets you feel what's going on. Something that changes your natural instincts. That's what this all is all about. It's about being able to be a product of your environment. You have to create the environment that lets you do that. I appreciate the opportunity to share with you today what it is that we've experienced working in all these different modes, learning to practice in these ways that help you create the right kind of environment that allows you to thrive, allows you to feel what's working with you and what's working against you. Please subscribe to the channel, like our video, share it with your friends, tell us what it is that you've experienced and what you're getting out of it, and what we can do to continue sharing this kind of information with you. Learn how to work in harmony with your body, learn how to create efficient power and a strong will that's going to take you in the direction that you want to go. Come on over to our website, we have tons of material. We have the Gravity Golf Challenge, which is a step-by-step -step progressive curriculum. You can go over to our website and sign up. There's tons of free stuff on there as well. This is your opportunity to take your game to a place that is, is fun, something that's gonna work with you and carry you forward through for the rest of your life, whether it's to the top level of competition or it's just learning to pick up a few strokes and being able to have a more supple, easier body, something that's working with you and something that allows you to enjoy yourself when you're out there. Thanks again so much. We'll see you very soon.